Good morning, everyone. Guten Tag, Vienna. Good morning, everyone. I am Jonna Burke, the Global Managing Director of AMAC, and it is my profound pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2022 AMAC Global Summit on Measurement and Evaluation. It is a pure pleasure <laughs> to welcome all of those of you here in Vienna with us, and a special welcome to our virtual delegates. In November, I said I was going to be in November no matter what. <laughs> I was not lying when I said that, but I am very thankful that I am not here alone drinking all of the alcohol minimums and sleeping in all of the rooms, but I am joined by 150 of our peers, of some of the best thinkers in our industry and some of the best collaborators that we could hope for in a partnership and in any type of industry. So. Thank you to all of you for being here and for all of your support and for making this happen so that we can all get to the next normal. Um, it is not easy to talk about the last two years for anyone, right? I think we all grossly underestimated what this would all mean. But I will say that in 2020, when we decided to close the world down, there was a lot of angst in all of your businesses, across everything. It was three months before we were to have the summit here in Vienna 2020. I contacted our sponsors that we had for that summit. And we had already committed, obviously, the funds to the hotel, to our partners. Without hesitation and with the utmost support, our sponsors, our headline sponsor observer, our longtime sponsors in MediaTrack and in O-Point, and LexisNexis, without reservation, without hesitation, said, it's all good. We have no problems. We're gonna keep the money with you guys so that you have no problem in this transition period to make sure that there's no extra pressure on Amec, to make sure that the industry stays strong. We are here to support you. And I cannot express enough how during the most difficult time, that made things just easy. It gave a peace, and I am forever grateful to those partners and those friends for making that happen. So if you can please join me now. We're gonna thank our sponsors throughout, but to give a special thanks to Observer, to MediaTrack, to O-Point, I think I forgot a minute ago, I apologize, um, and to LexisNexis for giving us that peace and that balance to be able to get us here to this session. I would appreciate it. So please join me in a round of applause for them now. During his opening remarks, our chair, Richard Bagnall, is going to thank all of the sponsors who without this, if without their support, this would not be possible. And I wanna thank them as well. But no matter how many times we say their name from a podium, it doesn't really give them the ROI that they need. So I would ask all of you, for the sponsors, to please give them the opportunity to earn your business, to take the chance to talk to them, to understand what their offering is, to answer questions and to have questions to make those elements better so that they will continue to support our industry. I think it's a really important piece and I think that as we look at some of the sessions, as we look at some of the sessions from the last couple of years around the tech stack building, that there are huge opportunities for collaboration and for building. And so I would ask you all to support them. It would also not be possible for us to be here if it wasn't for our platinum sponsor and our sponsor for the last two years, Notified. Please give a special round of applause for Notified and for all of their work to make it possible for us to be here. We're very fortunate to have Notified members on our board. Thank you, Sylvie, <laughs> who, again, uh, we were lucky to have committed to a hybrid event in 2020. It was very forward thinking at the time. Um, and so they were able to convert our event to an all virtual event. Many associations and industries didn't have that same opportunity. So we're very fortunate and very lucky and, and again, forever grateful. I would like to ask all of our current board members who are here in person and those of you who are joining virtually to please stand up to be acknowledged by the room here. And please give this group another round of applause for all of their work, for all of their effort.
This is an amazing group of very talented and diverse thinking individuals who bring together some of the best value for our association. And without them and their support, everything would be a whole lot harder. So please thank this group as you see them and give them the support that they need. I know that um, those of you who are looking for potential speakers, this is an excellent starting point. Um, some of the great expertise that we have here. So a special thanks to the board for all of your support throughout this endeavor. Thank you all so much. This is very exciting, lots of thanks. Thanks would not be complete without thanking Julie and Benita for all of their support and help in getting this event going and to go through here. Something that isn't quite clear, I think, because as the pandemic has evolved differently in different parts of the world, there has been a reopening that has been somewhat different. In planning an event, the rolling reopening and working from government to government is exciting and a wonderful puzzle to solve every day. Something that isn't probably too well known is that it wasn't legal to have an event of more than 50 people in person in Vienna until April 16th. For those of you data-minded, doing the numbers and the math, this is four weeks ago, <laughs> is not a super long time. Obviously, elements can take place, but certain dominoes have to fall before everything else can go into order. And so I want to thank everyone for their grace and their patience as we along with the rest of the world, navigate everything that is ever-changing and evolving in this space. It was just last Monday when they dropped the P3 mask mandate for everything inside, which I thought it doesn't matter as long as we're in person, but I can now say it does matter because there was something so beautiful about seeing all of the smiles and all of the love everyone was sharing in being able to be together here in person last night. I can't imagine it without anything except seeing those smiles. So again, thank you to all of you for all of that support.